Hello friends, uh, my name is Radha Masood. Today we will discuss about a topic bottom up estimation. Uh, friend, hope you all are fine and uh, today we will discuss about this topic bottom up estimation with respect to uh, project management, PMI or project management body of knowledge, PMBOK and we will see that what is b bottom up estimation. <coughs> Uh, friend, uh, I will try my level best to explain you the concept of bottom of estimation in a very easy to understand manner so that if you are studying project management in any university and planning to give exam uh, of project management uh, in coming days or especially you are planning to give exam of PMP. So I hope that this video can be very helpful for you. Friend, uh, please note one thing that bottom up estimation is a very very important topic with respect to exam point of view in project management and you will definitely definitely see this topic in, in exam uh, at least 5 to 10 question you will definitely see uh, in the exam uh, bottom up estimation is a technique to estimate something what is something like a scope uh, time schedule or cost especially schedule and cost it is used for uh, estimation for uh, uh, for schedule like time and for cost secondly friend if you are already a project manager and working in any organization as a project manager so again this topic is very important because see friend as a project manager you have to do the planning you have to do the uh, estimation for cost especially for cost and, and uh, schedule so your uh, your approach your uh, your knowledge for bottom up estimation is very very important so that you can do the correct estimations friend um, remember one thing that as a project manager first of all your communication should be very very good like uh, one of my senior told me uh, one time that communication is 99 percent of project management if someone asks from you that what is project management is project management is basically a communication this is my own thought maybe someone agree or maybe some not one not agree however uh, project management is basically uh, basically a communication so uh, uh, one of uh, one of the mo most important other aspect of uh, project management is planning planning is very important in project management and as a project manager you should be able to do the planning and whenever we talk about planning friend basically we are referring to estimations estimations for schedule time and cost so uh, friend uh, i will try my level best to explain you the concept of uh, bottom up estimation in a very simple and very easy to understand manner i will try my level best to uh, not go into nitty gritties of uh, project management and um, i will try my level best to explain you the concept so that you can uh, you can understand the concept and whenever you see in the exam uh, the question related to bottom up estimation or in the real scenario in the real life exam uh, in the real life you have to do the bottom up estimation in project management for, uh, for a project so you can do these things in a very easy to understand manner for first of all i can tell you that this topic this uh, concept is very easy i am very much sure that most uh, often you have used already used this concept but maybe you don't know that uh, this concept or this technol uh, te terminology is called as bottom up estimation so uh, friend uh, coming back to our main topic bottom up estimation uh, first of all uh, i will try i will ask i can ask from you that please uh, subscribe to my channel and click on the bell option as well so that my my new videos can reach to you so let's start bottom up estimation just see this uh, term for my friends bottom up estimation friend as a project manager uh, you have to do the planning for example uh, for example uh, a very general example that uh, if you are uh, if you have to build a house and what what are the main questions which you will ask from your constructor of house what are the main questions you will ask the main questions are that how much time is needed to build a house and how much cost is needed to build a house okay so there are two uh, very basic and main cons questions you will definitely ask from the constructor that in how many days and how many months you will complete the house and how much cost is required to build a house 
similarly friend uh, whenever we talk about uh, uh, a project uh, like any software project or any other project so as a project manager the main questions which you must have to consider uh, in planning are how much time is needed and how much cost is needed friend uh, in project management this is called as the concept of estimation or estimations are the basis of planning <coughs> so if someone asks from you that uh, if constructor says that he will build the house in five months and with fifty thousand dollar cost for example so these are the estimates for cost and for schedule okay so this is called the estimation what is the advantage of estimation is friend is that you can get an idea you can have the clear vision that how much time is needed and how much cost is needed and also you can track it at some later stage that for example the the house should have to be completed in five months so after two months or three months you can track the progress that you must have to complete the project in five months so after three months how much work is completed so estimation gives you an idea of uh, time and cost and also it gives you a uh, tracking uh, uh, as well so now uh, if we talk about bottom up estimation friend remember one thing that uh, in project management a very uh, popular concept of uh, there is a very popular concept of uh, triple constraint what is triple constraint it's a uh, scope time and cost Triple constraint is very important in uh, in project management and uh, with ex uh, with exam point of view it is also very important. So what is triple constraint friend? Triple constraint is scope, time and cost. Why it is important? See friend, whenever there is any difference, with, when there, whenever there is any impact on scope, there must have a change in time and cost as well. If there is any change in cost, there must be a change in time and schedule, in time and scope as well. So these three factors, scope, time, and cost, are interdependent. So one of uh, one of the two uh, the two factors like schedule and uh, cost are the may very main concept in triple constraint, a many very important aspect of project management. So uh, friend, whenever we talk about bottom es uh, up estimation, we can do the estimation of a project based on bottom up estimation. How we can do this? thing friend see uh, bottom up estimation means that you decompose the work in 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 small components okay <coughs> and do the estimations in terms of time in terms of cost on on the on those components and then in in the last we aggregate or sum up the uh, sum up the values so in that way we can get a total value for scope or for schedule as well uh, for time as well remember one thing that bottom up estimation is a very popular way and it's a very uh, uh, very accurate way of as well for estimation estimation means that how much time is required and how much cost is required so normally we use this technique what we do we decompose the work in smaller components and estimation do the estimation on a smaller component because it's small we can do the estimation easily so once the uh, we calculate the estimations for uh, components we uh, we uh, sum up the values and get the total value of cost and time as well so this is called the concept of uh, bottom of estimation and one disadvantage of bottom estimation is that it requires more time more time but it is more accurate as well uh, let me give you a very simple example of uh, uh, bottom of estimation c for example if you want to build a house so what you can do uh, you can uh, you can divide the work and divide the uh, cost and duration as well for example framing walls require 30000 and duration one week is required insulation required 15000 one week is required drywall required 40000 and two weeks are required flooring 50000 two weeks are required electric 15000 two weeks are required heat 10000 uh, dollar and one week is required plumbing 15,000 and one week is required so you can see from here what we have done we decompose the work of to in build a house in in a smaller chunks 
okay these are the work items or deliverables then we assign and calculate the cost against the each item and duration as well required duration and in the last what we do we sum up all these cost so it will become uh, 1 lakh 75 thousand and 10 weeks so friend this is called the concept of bottom-up estimation again see from here for example you have to build a house what you will do you divide the work into smaller chunks of uh, items a uh, smaller chunks of item which you can which you can estimate in terms of cost in terms of duration and in the last we sum up all these items so it will give you a total value for cost and for duration or you can say time as well so it will tell you that 175000 is required in terms of cost and 10 weeks is required for to build a house so it is this estimation is more accurate in terms of cost and duration why because you are decomposing the uh, whole project or whole task into smaller chunks and doing the and calculating the task on a smaller chunk so that is why it is more accurate how it is however it is required more time as well so friend uh, that's all from my side i hope you like this video if you like please share it with your friends and colleagues and uh, thank you thanks a lot for your time and thank you